A hair oil that costs $62. Is it worth it? Let's find out. So today we are going to be talking about and reviewing this oil from the brand Oribe. This is what the packaging looks like. Very luxurious, you would assume from the price. $62, okay? This is an all over body oil, face oil, skincare oil. You can use this for anything that you want, but as this is a hair channel and you guys are mostly only interested in my hair, I'm only focusing on my hair. It is called the Gold Lust All Over Oil and I was blown away by the packaging. Now let's start by saying, this is not a sponsored video. However, they were kind enough to gift this to me, but whether it was sponsored or they didn't gift this to me, I always share my true opinions on this channel. So it doesn't matter where it came from, I'm still gonna give you the whole truth, okay? So let's start by talking about what this oil is before we even get into is it worth it and everything. So it is 50 mils, I know, it's not that much. And it says it replenishes and restores with a curated blend of 17 intensely nourishing and protective natural oils, rich in antioxidants and essential fatty acids. This luminous beauty elixir nourishes, protects, and locks in moisture from head to toe. And that is the whole body, H to T. Designed to hydrate and soften hair, body, face, decollete may also be used as a deep treatment for hair overnight and a, or a conditioning beard oil. So man, you can use this too. This wonder oil leaves you luxuriously moisturized and exceptionally radiant. Okay, let's open it and see what the oil actually looks like. This is it. This is the most luxurious hair oil bottle I have ever seen. So it looks like this, it has a pipette. I don't know if you can see it through there, but what you do is you twist it open and then to fill the pipette, you press the top of the cap and when you pull it out, there is the oil. Now I do believe I filmed myself applying a little of this oil on my scalp. Okay, so here I'm just filling the dropper and as you can see, it's not filled all the way to the top, but that is one full dropper. And I dropped a couple drops out so you could see the texture. And now I'm just putting a couple drops on my scalp. And as you can see, it is super thick, but not as thick as like a castor oil. It is very beautifully formulated as explained, but I just need a couple drops in every section and I cannot even describe how amazing this feels on the scalp. It just, the definition luxurious is what just keeps coming to mind. That is what it feels like. It is extremely smooth. It almost feels like a serum, but it is an oil. And as you can see, I just put that pipette all the way down, all the way at the back. And now I'm squeezing a little extra and that's what's left, half a drop of full. So for my entire head, I only used half and I will be washing my hair soon after this braid out. There's no styling treatment in my hair. It is just my regular leave-in and I'm just applying this oil to the ends of my hair and then now I'm going ahead to do a nice scalp massage because whatever oil you use, no matter how cheap or expensive it is, you will always maximize its benefits if you do a scalp massage afterwards. So that is all you need to get this to work exactly how it's meant to work. And now let's get into more of of what is so amazing about this oil and if there's any pros and cons. This oil is very thick. I don't know if it looks as thick on camera, but the thing I could compare it to is if you've ever got like a processed honey, but if you get like processed honey or something like a maple syrup, this is similar to that texture. It is not sticky at all, but it is more on like, maybe what I would say like a gloopy-ish honey-like texture in terms of the thickness of the oil. It feels extremely luxurious. To be honest, every single like luxury hair oil I have used that is still about half the price of this one feels sort of extremely thin and light and something that you just wanna like throw on on top of your hair. I don't think this is that kind of an oil. I wouldn't consider this like a finishing oil, you know, when you've done your hair and your hair is looking like super nice and flowy, and then you put this on top of your hair and it's just gonna like make it look shiny and glowy. This, I don't think it does that. This feels more like a super intense treatment. Like if you wanted to do an overnight treatment, but I mean, look at my hair. If I did an overnight treatment with this and use a lot like a hot oil treatment, 
it would be too expensive because I would have to use so much. But if we're talking about just using it like sort of on the ends and roughly coating the strands and a little on the scalp, I can use half a dropper. It just works, you just need so little because it is so thick and it is so heavy that it sits on your hair so well, but despite it being heavy, it sort of absorbs into your hair and give, leaves your hair feeling very nourished. Now I know the term moisturizing is used, but we all know that most oils can only moisturize for a short amount of time because once your hair kind of gets dry and sucks up all the moisture, the oil is going to sit on top and it could prevent more moisture from going into your hair. So if I use this on my actual hair strand, I would only use this about halfway through the week because I only wash my hair about once a week. At the beginning of the week, let's say a Sunday, I would wash my hair, maybe put a couple drops of this on the scalp. The only reason why I wouldn't put a couple drops of this on my scalp is because I'm used to using my rosemary oil. But then halfway through the week, then I can go ahead and use a little bit of this for a beautiful, luxurious scalp massage. And then I could put it on the ends of my hair because I know within three days I'm going to wash it out. So I'll get all the nourishment without experiencing any of the dryness. Now, the smell, if you're worried about that, this smells, it's got like a very mild citrusy scent combined with an expensive cologne but it is extremely mild compared to their deep conditioner, which smells like a strong cologne, which I personally love, but I don't think it's for everyone. This one has a very mild smell, and I think it's because you can use this on your face, you can use it all over your body, you can use it in so many places. So having a strong smell, like if you wanted to put this on your decollete or on your face, having a strong smell is not that ideal as it can irritate your skin. So that's actually a great thing. So what's, in what's included in here is grapeseed oil, olive oil, castor oil, sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, safflower seed oil, coconut oil, meadow foam seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, apricot oil, avocado oil, and then later down we have a little bit of fragrance, and then we have watermelon seed oil, black currant seed oil, bergamot fruit oil, lemon peel oil, jasmine oil, and then limoline and citro. So this does have a couple chemicals in it, which I presume are just to preserve the oil so you can keep it for a long time. But this is, I would say maybe 85 to 90% a natural product. But this is what I mean when I talk about purchasing luxury oils versus purchasing hair growth oils. I recently stated in a recent video that I really don't buy hair growth oils anymore. When we talk about things like wild growth oil, do grow oil, all these like oil mixes that contain that contain oils that promise to grow your hair and actually do like rosemary oil, castor oil, olive oil, all these kinds of things. While they do boost hair growth, I feel like lots of the brands that are affordable in terms of being like anywhere at least $15 and under, I find that I can make an even cheaper, more effective oil that feels the same myself. So for example, I had some peppermint oil that just finished in here and I've been using the dropper to apply this. This is my own oil that contains rosemary, peppermint, tea tree, and I will link the recipe at the end if you are interested. And this has really, really, really helped my hair grow because I just did a recent trim and I literally cannot tell because my hair has been growing really fast along with a bunch of the other things I've been doing. So this oil I find is even better or just as good as any of the other hair growth oils that I can buy. But what I do buy are oils like this because no matter how amazing you are, unless you are a chemist and you are experienced in formulating hair products, you cannot make this at home. You can absolutely find every single oil in here and mix it yourself, but there's something about the way products are formulated that makes them completely different. It's just like skincare products. You can buy a vitamin C serum that costs like maybe $6, or you can buy a vitamin C serum that costs maybe $60. Now the $6 one will probably do the job. It will get your skin to sort of even out. It will brighten your skin a little bit. Wow, the light is really funny. It will brighten your skin a little bit, but it won't feel like luxurious. It's just one of those things where you're like, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care. I just want it to do what it's supposed to do. If you make this oil probably at home, you'll probably get similar benefits in terms of if it's supposed to like nourish your hair and you want to use it as a hot oil treatment, it's going to do that. But when it comes to the formulation, 
it will feel completely different. The $60 one probably won't be worth $60, $60 only with the product. Probably about 20 bucks is just going into the fancy packaging so it looks alluring to you. And then the other amount is going into the formulation so everything feels extremely like smooth on you. And that is what I absolutely love about this. I think this is by far my favorite luxury hair oil I have ever tried. And I can't even compare it to any single oil I've ever tried from the drugstore because it is just so, that's why I compared it to honey. It's like a serum oil. It is rich, it is beautiful, it is amazing. I honestly have not used this many times. I've only used it about three to four times, but I would highly recommend you buy it. But if you are just looking for something simple to grow your hair and you don't have that much money to spend, I would not recommend this because again, like any luxury product, you can find drugstore versions out there that will work just as good as this. They just won't be in such fancy packaging and the formula will not feel as luxurious as this one unless you're lucky and you actually do find one. But you absolutely don't need it. However, if you are looking for a, a luxury hair product that will truly give you your money's worth, I highly recommend this one because you need so little, which means this bottle is gonna last forever. I guarantee as much hair as I have, this is probably gonna last me like two years because I have had other oils and serums because of the way they are supposed to be used. You really don't use them every day or all the time that it can surely last you a really long time. And I would highly suggest this. This, is, this does not say it's for curly hair or straight hair. As you see, it just says it's for all over face, body, hair, curly, straight, extremely the coiliest, curliest hair you could ever have or the straightest bone straight hair you could ever have. You can all use this. You all just need to alter the way you use it. So if you have very, very fine bone straight hair, you would probably need a single drop of this for your entire head and it would be enough. If you have hair like me, you probably need like half a drop of full to go all over your scalp and also get it on your hair. Or you could just use two drops, one for one side, one for the other other side if you have like a medium thickness of hair. Now this also makes the hair feel like super smooth and luxurious. And $63, yes, it is extremely expensive for a hair product. And again, you absolutely do not need it. But if you want it, it is absolutely worth it. And I think it's actually a great time to buy it right now because I don't know when this video is going up, but I'm pretty sure Sephora is still having a sale and you can get everything in the store around 20% off or 10% off depending on what tier you have. For me, I'm going to wait because there's nothing I urgently need right now, but I'm pretty sure in December, they did a sale for all at the end of the wholesale. They did 20% of everything again. So I'm going to wait for that. I will not be repurchasing this until I finish it because I'm not worrying about this finishing anytime soon. I'm going to buy everything else I need, like my Amica Deep Conditioner. I'm gonna try and get the big one. This is absolutely worth it. And it's not just worth it because it's expensive, it's worth it because it actually says what it's going to do while being luxurious and wanting to be on di display. Like, just look at it. Can I be the brand ambassador, Oribe, if you see this? <laughs> I'm ready to be your brand ambassador for this oil. I can't wait to try it on my skin too, but only like on the decollete or something because this is too expensive to be using excessively, okay? If you enjoyed this and you want me to try more expensive products that you don't want to buy but want to see if it's worth it before you jump and take the purchase, let me know the products in the comment section below. And while you're at it, hit the subscription button right down there as well as the bell. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every single time I post. Hit my face on the side of the screen right there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.